welcome back to another quickie review. This is something I honestly forgot that I even had. Uh, while I was looking for something else, I ran across this and was like, did I ever review this? And I thought I had. And I checked the channel and there's no review up. So I don't know if this is some Mandela Effect bullshit or what the deal is, but I apparently never reviewed the Delicate Petals EOS hand lotion. So, or body lotion, I guess. Uh, the, there is a difference. There is a hand lotion somewhere. Man, I just had it out earlier. I don't even know where that went now. It's somewhere over here in this pile next to me. But whatever. But this is the body lotion. So, uh, visibly softer, more beautiful skin, enriched with natural shea butter, vitamin E, and avocado oil. 24-hour moisture, fast-absorbing, dermatologist-tested, paraben-free, petrolatum-free, mineral oil-free. So those are always nice. Um, I forget if I bought this directly off the website. I feel like I didn't. I feel like I bought this somewhere like Walgreens. Um, I could be wrong. I know I had the the orchid one too in the real big bottle. Wish somebody had warned me that apparently the big ass bottles of it spoil really damn quickly. Most of that bottle went to waste and it hurts my soul. <laughs> I wish they made like a half size bottle of that. That would be like perfect. I, I would have gone through at least most of that, if not all of it. But the big ass one, I'm like, oh, oh, that's so sad. I haven't even brought myself to toss it. But when you can see it yellowed through the plastic, it's done so. At least when it comes to the EOS lotions. So this one, I was all nervous when I opened it. But then I looked, and even like on the cap, it's not all yellow and gross, so we're good. Which is good, because I don't remember when the hell I bought this, so don't know if it's new, old, or otherwise. So anyway, um, just gonna go ahead and put some of that on. Not a ton. Come on, you. Whoa, okay. It just spooged in my hand. Cute! So anyway, it's actually a lot thinner than what you would generally expect from like an EOS lotion. I feel like the hand lotions were a little thicker than this. But I guess because it's body lotion, they want it to be thin enough to be able to be applied anywhere you want it without it being too much, which is nice. It's one that absorbs real quickly too, I've noticed. So there is that, which also helps go through it more quickly, I've noticed. But um. Yeah, just because I don't know how old it is for sure, I'll probably go on, like, a crash course of trying to use as much of it up as quickly as possible. Uh, so it doesn't go to waste like the orchid one did. I still feel, I feel so bad about that. But on the plus side, at least in the box of, I think, three different of the hand lotions, there's a little travel size one of the orchid one. So I do have more that's not spoiled, but that big bottle made me so sad. But anyway, so this smells really nice. It also smells really familiar. Um, there's an Avon scent that's almost identical to this, actually. Um, I'm trying to place what it is. I want to say it's Tranquil Moments. It smells just like this. Either that one or... I'm pretty sure it was Tranquil Moments. But there was something with, like, C in the name. Not the letter C, but like the like the ocean, like the sea. It was in like a turquoise and white bottle. But that also could have been tranquil moments. I don't know, but it's definitely like almost a dupe of like a certain classic Avon scent. It's making me crazy trying to pinpoint which one. But because it smells like that, it's a super just sentimental, soothes my soul kind of a scent because it just... It reminds me of my childhood because it smells like all the toiletries in my Nana's bathroom, which is a weird thing to compare it to, but, um, still, still, <laughs> fond memories, weird as that also is to say. Uh, dude, for somebody who grew up in a house that didn't have a bathtub, and your grandparents did, you know, you, you took every chance you got to take bubble baths over there because it was a luxurious thing that you got to do over there when you could only take showers at home. Just saying. But, um, anyway. Um, and, as such, used the bubble bath she had on hand, and it happened to be that, so. 
there you go. There's your weird back history that you totally didn't need for this review. But, um, I don't even know what exactly to compare it to. It's kind of a combination of floral, but also... Not quite sea spray, but it does make me think of a sort of a seaside, beachy feel, but not in like the traditional, most people think of beach scents, they think of like coconut, suntan lotion, those sort of scents. No, it's nothing like that. It's like evocative of the actual freaking ocean water, but in a good way, not a nasty way. So like that, plus, like I said, some sort of flower, but I cannot for the life of me identify what kind, but it's a really nice, delicate, sort of dainty scent. Um, it's not too much. Um, oh, hey, glare that's coming through on here. Um, it's been rainy and cloudy all day. I finally turned this on. And, oh, oh, sun's gonna come out. Um, all right, that's cool. Built-in spotlight, I guess. But um, anyway, I've got from both sides coming in, so... Ah, oh, goodness. It is a very light scent, as I was saying. You have to put your hand pretty much right up to your face to smell it once it's on. So, I mean, if you like things that are scented, but just a little bit of scent, th this is a good call for you. Um, as for how it feels in terms of any residual greasiness, there is a very, very slight amount of that. I would say way less than most lotions tend to have, but there is a little bit of it that gets left behind. So just throwing that out there as like a full disclaimer thing, it exists within it, but barely. And if you give it long enough, it does kind of wear off. Although I'm not sure if that's so much from it sinking in or if it's from rubbing off on other things. Um, but it does leave your skin feeling really soft, though, so I do like that about their lotion. Um, I do have a long storied history with the EOS lotions and that notoriously most of them I always hated. Like, the pink, the blue, and the green. All three of those can go jump off a cliff. I, I just cannot with them. And I thought I just must hate all the EOS lotions till I tried that, um, that orchid one and fell in love with it. And it was at that point that I picked this up too and figured, you know, I'll give it a shot as well. It's the only other one I haven't tried, although now there's one more. But, um, still, I, I like this one too. I like it a lot. And yes, it's getting harder to see me through the ethereal glow here. <laughs> um, I would rate this a 4 out of 5 only because of that slight residual tackiness, greasiness that sticks around. But it's, it's not a lot. It's far less than most lotions leave behind. So it's still better than the majority. Most of it does sink in and goes in real quick. So I do like that, but yes, full disclosure, a little bit does stay behind too. And for that, it does get the one docked point. But it otherwise is really nice and I love the scent and I love how it makes my skin feel. And it doesn't cost very much. So I mean, can't even complain on that front. I remember when these first came out, they were way more expensive than they are now. They've actually come way down in price, so for that, I am also glad. And I also just kind of dig the aesthetic of the shape of this bottle. It just, I don't know. Something about it is aesthetically pleasing to me. So, anyways, sun keeps getting brighter and harder and harder to see on this camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up before it becomes totally impossible to see, so... Uh, as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Oh, of course, now that I'm signing off now, it gets easier to see. <laughs> um, leave comments down below. Have any of you guys had this one? If so, what did you guys think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you just on the fence about it? Anything and everything, leave it down below, as well as about anything at all, really. Feel free to leave it. Uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Twitter, my Facebook fan page, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is in the description. So anyway, guys, till next time, bye-bye.